Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We, today is Saturday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Aris Martin S.V.D. Our celebration will now begin. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. Purihin, purihin ang kanyang pangalan. Ipahayag, ipahayag ang dulot niyang kaligtasan. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. Kayong mga angkan, maghandog sa buon. Luwalhati at papuri, ialay sa Panginoon. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, on the second day of July, First Saturday, let us take the Mass in memory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady, who bore Jesus, was blessed because of Jesus' presence. Once again, Jesus desires to be with us through His Word and His body. Let us recognize our sinfulness allow God's grace to cleanse us from our many sins and beg Him for His pardon and mercy. <coughs> you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You intercede for us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. In the silence of our hearts, let us lift to God our intentions, intentions of this Mass and those people, loved ones, friends, and relatives who are asking for our prayers. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, on that day, I will raise up the fallen heart of David. I will wall up its branches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom and all the nations that shall bear my name. Say I, the Lord, who will do this. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, 
when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the vintager, him who sows the seed. The juice of grapes shall drip down the mountains, and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them, say I, the Lord, your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to His people. The Lord speaks of peace to His people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for He proclaims peace to His people. Near indeed is His salvation to those who fear Him. Glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloak, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak, and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the skin bur skins burst, the wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wine skins, and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters, for those who are here, and of course, for those who are celebrating with us via live stream. Today, I would like to talk about the purpose of fasting. What's the difference between doing a diet, nagda-diet, at nagfa-fasting? Anong pagkakaiba ng fasting at saka nagda-diet? Sabi ng isang kaibigan ko, ang fasting daw, fast eating, at ang dieting, nang dadaya sa eating. Kaya sabi niya, madami sa mga nagdadayet ang tumataba. But I think when you speak about, of course that's not true, but when you speak about fasting, fasting is the deprivation of food 
so that we can be in solidarity with those who are hungry and eventually experience the presence of Jesus. In other words, the end, the goal of fasting is experiencing Jesus through our sacrifices. In the Gospel of today, the disciples saw John and approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, why do we fast often while your disciples do not fast that often? We and the Pharisees, we do a lot of sacrifice. We fast so much. And Jesus said, because I am here. If fasting is oriented towards being with me, if fasting sacrifices our means in order to experience me as a person, now I am here, so why do you fast? In other words, the question tells us how the Pharisees and the disciples of John failed to see the presence of Jesus, who is the end, who is the goal of fasting. Oftentimes, we waste a lot of our sacrifices. We waste a lot of our fasting. We waste a lot of our difficulties because in our fasting, in our difficulties, we fail to recognize Jesus as our companion. These questions of the disciples of John brings us into a greater context of yesterday. Remember yesterday's, yesterday's gospel? Jesus called Matthew, the sinner, while he was right there in the act of kind of committing sin at the customs post. And after that, Jesus, together with Matthew and the rest of the sinners who repented from their sins, celebrated, had a banquet with Jesus. Imagine the questions of the Pharisees, for example, who saw Jesus eating with the tax collectors and the sinners while they were fasting. If you were in the place of the Pharisees, would you not be angry with Jesus? Hey, we are fasting so much while you together with sinners are feasting. But the sinners recognize Jesus. That's why they don't fast. The Pharisees are a kind of kill joy, not recognizing the presence of Jesus. Remember once again also the time when the prodigal son, when the younger son returned to the father and they were celebrating because of the return of the sinner. And here comes the righteous son who became a kind of a kill joy, stop the celebration. That son failed to recognize the spirit of Jesus in their midst. The joy of Jesus is that every sinner returns to the Father. And every sinner that returns to the Father is an experience of a banquet not of a sacrifice. That's why towards the end of the gospel, yesterday, Jesus said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Today, Jesus is not against fasting, but he wants us to focus our attentions on the end, the goal of sacrifice. Hopefully, every sacrifice that we do 
we desire for Jesus because wasted are sacrifices wasted are those waking up in the morning to attend mass wasted are the sacrifices of fathers to their family and mothers to their children if in their sacrifices they fail to see the Jesus that is the life-giving force and the joy that comes in every sacrifice. This is the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, no sacrifice is wasted, no fasting is wasted, no tear was wasted, precisely because in every sacrifice, in every tear, in every suffering, the sorrowful mother recognizes that it is blessed to be in the company of Jesus. It brings me to such a beautiful song which says, I want to be where you are, to be in the company of Jesus, that is enough. Whatever sacrifice I go through, whatever difficulties I take, the fasting, everything that I go through, I don't mind. I just want to be with Jesus. Let this be our prayer like the Blessed Mother today. Amen. Let us pray to God, our Father, that he may bring us closer to the values of the gospel, to renew the church and the world. We pray and say, Lord of the banquet, bless us. Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet bless, bless us. us. That the church, the people of God and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Lord, we pray, of, Lord of the banquet, bless us. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. We pray, Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet bless, bless us. us that we may realize the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. We pray, Lord of the banquet, bless us, that we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. We pray, Lord of the banquet, bless us, that the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. We pray, Lord, Lord of, the, of banquet, the banquet, bless us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our special intentions. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as new people, set free by the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, all the clergy and the community you have gathered here before you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Especially remember Evelyn Davis and Dennis Domingo and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As children of our Heavenly Father, with confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other God's sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Brothers and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. Our ultimate desire is to be in communion with Him. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for vacations. O Father, Father you, you desire, desire all of us to be happy. Steer up the grace of our religious vocation in the hearts, in the hearts of many men and women. Grant, grant to them the willingness and generosity to give of themselves, their lives, their time, and their talents to the service of Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord and Savior, and to his holy church. Many more men and women to go forth as priests, deacons, brothers and sisters, to bring the fruits of our Catholic faith to all others, so that soon they too may know you better and love you more, and serving you be truly happy. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. 
bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Rock, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Arnold Johnson and Saint Joseph Reynadamitz, pray for us. Kindly be seated for some announcement. Our daily masses and devotions and novena here at the shrine are as follows mondays to saturdays at 6 30 a.m and 6 p.m sundays 6 a.m 8 a.m 10 a.m 11 30 a.m 4 p.m and 6 p.m on monday the 6 p devotion to the holy spirit at 6 p.m Tuesday, 6.30 a.m., Devotion to Christ the King, and at 6 p.m., Devotion to Padre Pio. Wednesday, at 6.30 a.m., Devotion to St. Joseph, and at 6 p.m., Devotion to Our Mother or of Perpetual Health. Thursday, 6 p.m., Devotion to St. Jude. Friday, 6 p.m., Devotion to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, and during Saturday at 6 p.m., Devotion to Jesus, the Divine Word. Our confession schedule, every Saturday at 5 p.m. and every Sunday, 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. outside the shrine near the main entrance. Lastly, the Divine Word Lectures of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, is looking for lectors for our weekday Masses at 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m., ages 25 to 65 years old, and of good moral character, proficient in English and Filipino, willing to undergo training. Please submit your resume to Divine Word Lectures at gmail.com. Psalm 95, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come join the DWL ministry. Thank you. Please stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have experienced the banquet of the Lord. Go and become a festive people in the world. Thanks be to God. Jesus, 
sa kanyang kaharian upang Diyos ay mapangalan. Ilaan sa kanyang kaharian upang kapwa'y mapangalan.